Hi, I'm Lars Bergstrom with Curtis Stokes & Associates. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to look at uh, N2 Deep. She's a 2003 Catalina 42 MK2 model. Very popular model even before they outfitted it with so much. This vessel has everything you need for long distance cruising to be away from shore for months at a time. So come along, let's take a look and I'll point out all those special details to you. N2 Deep has been fitted out with an arch to hold the thousand watts of solar power. And then also a wind generator. Electronics have been upgraded to top of the line B and G equipment. The gel code on the hull and decks is in great shape. I don't see any signs of uh, uh, stress cracks or spider cracks. She's got nice uh, kayak racks built right onto the rail to hold the kayaks. So you can see N2 Deep is a sloop rig with roller furling main and Genoa. Schaefer roller furling on the bow. Double bow rollers. Netting on the railing for children or pets. This vessel was the perfect little cruising home for the uh, current owners and um, they since have moved on to a power boat to do the Great Loop. Now there are some things that need attention. It could use some more um, Isinglass uh, sewn into the Dodger, but the canvas is in good shape. Nice Garhauer uh, Traveler. You see these Catalinas again, nice wide decks for going forward. Recent rigging replacement. That's important when you go to get insurance. All of this is documented. We have uh, maintenance records for all the work that's been done. You can see we've got a nice windlass. And a ton of chain in the anchor locker. Well, I'll look at the specs to get the amount, but you won't be running out of chain on the East Coast. You can see nice, spacious, well-organized decks where things led back to the cockpit. You can stay right in the shelter of the cockpit. The sail is not more than a couple years old. That's also in the listing. Nice new sail. And the old sail is kept for a backup. Nice self-tailing winches. Very spacious cockpit. Nice big destroyer wheel. You can see the, uh, the great seats in the stern rails. Excellent place to hang out. And your swim platform with extra storage. Right over to our uh, electronics. We've got a new Autopilot here, Ray Marine. Depth sounder works, wind indicator works, speed, and a brand new uh, B and G chart plotter. And the engine controls are nicely placed on these boats right here, easy to get to. You see the helm seat hanging on the rail here. That helm seat normally sits flush here, and the owner has rigged up a uh, bar that slides across. It gets the helm seat up higher so that you can see better over the helm. Again, with new uh, Isinglass in the Dodgers, it'll be like new. You can see the canvas and the zippers are all in good shape. A cabin top winch, Lumar 40s with all your controls leading back on both sides. The uh, the doors, something else new that, uh, that has been added. As you can see, it's a very spacious interior. 
actual steps to go down instead of a ladder. Nice big salon table. These boats are very well laid out. The upholstery is in good shape. This table can uh, go down and there's a uh, upholstery piece that fits on the table. This flooring is, is new laminate that was put down. You have a nice uh, nav station, TV, electrical distribution panel, and a settee there to starboard. The galley is just inside the companionway to port. It's clean, bright, and it doesn't necessarily separate you from uh, your guests. We've got a nice large double bin deep sink, the freezer, three burner stove, microwave, handy uh, spice racks, huh? And the refrigerator with shelving inside and access to the front. And then back here is just kind of like a garage, I call it. There's access into the engine room, which I'll show you uh, later with some, some lights on in there. And then this panel. There's your uh, new next-gen generator that this owner installed. Charging systems. And these are storage cabinets with nice shelf organizers in them. Everything's been thought out very well in here because these people um, stayed on, on anchor for long lengths of time. Nice aft cabin. They put a smaller mattress in it to accommodate some shelving for additional storage back here. There's your uh, three zone force 10 diesel heater. That's the cushion that goes on the table down there. And that's the spare jib kept as a, as a spare. There is a door here that goes into the head as well. And there you can see that. So this is a, a normal sea head. The forward head is done with uh, nature's uh, own um, composting head. So this is a wet head. But you can get a shower in here. Forward to the master cabin. I like the light wood. It's a good sized mattress with seating on either side. This box here contains the, uh, the old sail. Uh, main sail as a spare. Oh God. It's a little dark, but this is a cedar line hanging locker. And then the forward hat. Again, light and airy. It has a curtain so you can draw for a shower. And the composting head. So, overall look around, headliners in good shape, lots of uh, opening ports for ventilation, very rumored boat. Thanks for watching, I hope you found that useful. Again, N2 Deep is available to see uh, near Myrtle Beach, uh, South Carolina. I'll have my contact information and the full listing linked in the descriptions. If you plan on doing some long distance cruising, this boat's already set up to go. You've got water maker, generator, thousand watts of solar panels, um, uh, uh, 
lithium, lithium batteries, and a whole lot more. So take a look at the uh, listing. Contact me if you have any questions or would like to schedule a showing. I'm Lars Bergstrom with Curtis Stokes and Associates. www.curtisstokes.net. Have a great day.